I don't even have any earrings in, Jeff. What? I know, right? I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> I am scared. Who have I become? I am, hello. Hello and good evening. I'm gonna give us a second while you come in. I am Emily with Emily's Elegant Essentials. This is our Thursday night party and I'm here with Mr. Jeff Carlson and Miss Kimmy and Mr. Okami. So if you see me go down, you know the dogs are trying to help me play with the jewelry. If you are seeing me, please say hello. That way we know that we're not having technical difficulties. Uh, Facebook has been having some challenges lately. Facebook has been having some challenges lately and actually it um, really bummed me out last night because I wanted to see Enhance Your Style with Sylvia and um, they gave us a workaround. Uh, so it's not just, thank you, Andrea. Andrea shared, thank you. So it's not just uh, you know isolated, it's actually happening all across the Facebook uh, for people going live. I'm gonna give us a second. If you have got a cool drink, if you've got your slippies on, if you are hanging out and you're just kicking back, uh, let me go to work. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. I've got some goodies back here. And I will let us sync up while I I forgot to put on my earrings. I don't know who I am. this earring tonight this one is my new earring because I I think it adds a little pop of color with my um, Japanese cherry blossoms and this is hot on their heels hot on their heels this is a one in one so if you see your friends come in please let me know let us all know so that we can say hello and um, if they do come in, I will put their name in the bucket. So tonight we have a bunch of goodies on uh, for display. I've got various different things to show you. I did not uh, do last Thursday's orders yet. So I do wanna let you know that and apologize. I was trying to prepare everything for the family coming in. Um, and I don't think I can do this lighting, Jeff. I mean, it's great, it works, but let's see how it works with the jewelry first. Yeah, I don't know. It looks good on here. Okay. All right, now this is one of the June Fashion Fixes. This is one of those pre-order Fashion Fix sets. Andrea says she loves those earrings. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now this has the Peach Pearlescent. Just so you see. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it, as long as um, the customers can see their jewelry. All right, so that has that peach pearlescence, and then she has changes like between the gold. There's gold. There's crystals, and then the the peach pearlescent. She is going to sit right about here. Hi, Cindy. I appreciate you liking my earrings, Andrea. I like them too. I was, all right, so this is another thing. I I always try to let my customers have stuff first. Hello, Mary Margaret. I always try, but there's sometimes, there's times where it's really hard and there's gonna be, there's gonna be some of that back here. There's gonna be some of that back here. So anyway, this is part of my June fashion fix. I can do a pre-order or you can have the complete set now. She has a longer earring. Oh, baby, that, that peach pearlescence, man. 
That is a great color. That's part of um, like illuminating. These colors are going to go great with the rust, the marigold. I mean, there's so many great colors. Mary Margaret, thank you. Hello, Valentina. Sorry, I was I was starting to get in that that ooh sparkly glowy <laughs> trance. <laughs> I'm sorry. So thank you for inviting your friends. I appreciate you. Okay, so I'm going to show you the whole set again, but give me, I want to uh, go ahead and get through the earrings in each individual piece. She has a clasp bracelet that matches the, the earrings and the necklace. Oh, Bebe, Bebe. It has a clasp. It has the little crystals in there. <sighs> yeah. All right. I don't know if you saw Andrea's shares. I just saw it. No, I did. I did. I, I said it at the beginning. She was the first one, actually. Thank I, you. I missed it. I was, I was busy doing tech stuff. So I do have Jeff with me tonight. This is a dainty pedainty ring. This is like, this is that 5-6. This is that 5-6. And she has the row of crystals on the top, row of crystals on the bottom, and then she has the little cutouts there. So I'm going to show you the whole set again. And I'm going to give her a number. This is part of the fashion fix. You can get the whole set now, or you can pre-order. And it's $20. Valentina, thank you. Thank you. We've got your name in the bucket. All right, number 64. And for those who came in a little bit later, if you are interested in seeing this a little bit closer, let me know. Andrea loves your nails. Oh, thank you. I did something different. Number 64. I'm going to go up here because I'm thinking you're seeing some stuff. Some stuff. Oh, baby, baby. All right, now this is wood and turquoise. The turquoise colored halolite. This is a long. I am not a big turquoise fan, but I do like that. I love the wood. I love the wood. And I love the wood earrings. And Mary Margaret says that set is gorgeous. It is. It is. It is. Okay, so this is the wooden beading. This is what her chain looks like. She is going to sit right about here. She has this earring. Or... Hang on a second. This is where we're going to get some pow. This is going to be pow. Wow. Oh, baby. This is a wood earring with little dotted turquoise. She's got the silver setting. She is in a fish hook. She's going to sit right about here. Or you can have the dainty. Now, she does have a matching bracelet and matching ring. Mary Margaret said. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so this is the turquoise, and it is in the oval. It is the stretchy band. She's got, like, little rocks here, and she's got the wooden beads on the stretchy band. And in between the beads, you can see a little copper doll. So she is going to match this set perfectly. And then she had a little sister. Now, for a turquoise ring this big, this actually looks like it would be, like, really, well, I guess it kind of does. I'm thinking this is probably a 7-8. And that crackle stone and that textured, dotted out, outer bevel. I'm going to put this together for you. Okay. <laughs> There's that gravity thing yes. again. All right, so there we go. So I've got a necklace, earring, uh, bracelet, and ring. This set. Is going to be number 78. Now I'll put that back together. What did you think of that? Do you like the longers? Do you like the longers or do you like the shorters? So, just let me know. Let's, uh, uh, somebody better, uh, like, kind of loosen up, get the feel going, because we are having wine trivia and summer music trivia. So, 
if you've got your dancing shoes on or if you've got your vino or if you just got a, a grape soda that we're going to pretend is vino, come on in and let's start talking. And you know why I chose the wine trivia? Because it's wine. No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday was National Wine Day. And before that was National Rescue Dog Day. I like that turquoise set too, Mary Margaret. I know, right? All right, so I'm going to kind of bounce back and forth a little bit, but just to see if I can loosen you girls up. Because Jeff's already there. He's like, woo, it's wine day. And he doesn't drink wine. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> All right. When did people first start making wine? So A, 5 AD. B, 1000 BC. C, 14 AD. <coughs> or D, 6000 BC. I'm going to get a drink of water. I'm, I'm not opposed okay. to wine. I'm just not a big... I got a couple of pieces. Actually, Valentina, I'm glad you're here tonight because I do have some pieces I really think you're going to like based on some comments you've made previously. Cindy says B. B is not correct. 1000 BC is not correct. All right, I'm going to show this set. Mary Margaret, she got it. Mary Margaret, you are good. You are good at this. Now, this is almost a chokerish style. This is short. It is in the gold. She has a two-inch chain extender. And then she has a matching earring. It was actually 6,000 BC before Christ. Noah was a drunk and he drank wine, so. And, well, Christ had to know what to turn water into. So I knew it was before his time. Well, they had beer then, too. Happy Thursday. Hello, Anita. All right, so this is a shorter necklace. It is in the gold. It is a link. She has a matching earring. And then I paired her with this. Now, the reason I really like this earring is because it looks like a channel a channel and I would absolutely 100% love to have that earring like for petrol perpetually in my jewelry box all the time just as a grab-and-go earring as something to put with my gold jewelry it's nice simple and elegant this set or um, each way now, I'm going to tell you, I am showing some fashion fixes tonight. So when I say it's a set, um, I'm going to clarify for you the four-piece set versus if you want pieces taken apart. Because there's a lot of jewelry up here that I don't mind if you only want the earrings. Because you guys have been with me for so long. You guys are the most loyal friends um, on the planet. And so when you pick out your jewelry, you may already have something. You may not need how I've paired it. I'm just showing options so that you can choose for yourself. Or if you have any questions or you have things you would like to see, let me know. So this is number 95. Every necklace comes with its own complimentary earring. I just paired this one because I'm in love with her. This is one of one. That is number 95. Now this is going to be one of our fashion fixes. This is you can buy it all the whole set tonight or we try to do a pre-order. And Jeff's got paper to do a pre-order. This is our Magnificent Musings. Remember, Magnificent Musings is about the over, oversized pieces. Now, this has, that that is a like a smoky quartz in there. And then she's got the brushed silver chains. And then you can see that smoky quartz in there. Now let's pull this girl apart and get down to some business because she is hot. She is hot. Ah, and actually, you know, I got goosebumps and I didn't even mean to. I'm like, wow, ah, smoky quartz. <laughs> Maybe we should turn off the fan. Right? <laughs> smoky quartz, that's me. That's for me. <laughs> so you see the odd um, oblong shape circles. She has a beautiful little crystalline earring. 
Actually, that is the silver on the back and then that hemat that smoky quartz, not hematite. The difference between smoky quartz and hematite is like this. It is like a polished mirrored silver that is the hematite. And then the smoky quartz has that shiny quartz glow that makes everyone so happy. <laughs> At least me. All right. So she has a matching set of earrings. Let me show you how the earrings are going to go, how long the earrings are going to be versus your dainty. It matches perfectly. This is a fashion fix. So they are designed to make it fast and easy for you to enjoy putting your jewelry on. You don't have to worry about how is, you know, does it come with an earring? Does it have a matching bracelet? Does it have whatever? So then the next part of this is going to be this cuff. This is a cuff bracelet. I really like that design. I do too. I do too. Look at that. And it's so polished. It's so like Magnificent Musings is um, fundy, fun, trendy. Um, the whole, you know, uh, young Hollywood vibe, all the newest, latest trends. All right, now she also has this ring. And this ring has that smoky quartz line through it. Let me pull it back a little bit. It's got kind of a little, a little dip in there. Let's see what size she is. This is definitely a 5'6". So those of us girls with stately hands... This ring is not for you. <laughs> Definitely not for me. <laughs> not for you, sorry. But this bracelet um, earring set is going to be number 92. Number 92. You can get the whole set tonight or you can try to pre-order it. Number 92. I want to show you this set. This set is going to rock your world. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. That is four pieces, um, and you shared. So you've got your name in the bucket five times tonight. Thank you very much, Andrea. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm stomping around. My dogs are underfoot. All right, so the next set I want to show you, and this is this is where it starts getting crazy. Well, don't blame a Kimmy. She's over here. No, it was Okami. <laughs> so do you see these beautiful prismatic stones? I'm sexy and I know it. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My gosh. So we have lots of, oh, see how that catches like in the, in the reds and the rainbows. I know, I know when I saw this. All right. So one, I, I couldn't even believe that it was as beautiful in person as it was. Look at these, look at this, look, this is to die for. This is absolutely beautiful and amazing. Ah. <sighs> Does it look the same way over there? <laughs> it looks amazing on video. Because it is gorgeous. All right, now she's got this earring as well. Andrea says, ooh la la. It is, and she has the little charm earring with the little stones in there, all the different little, all right, see, that is like a, a pearl-esque. And then she's got that little jelly iridescent. She's got the love dove, that little dove. And a feather, that earring is going to sit right about here. I know, I know. All right, so she has a matching bracelet that has all those charms as well. So what I did is I pulled her out so you could see the feather, the um, pearlesque, then the little dowel with a little dotted texture. And then the little bird. 
and her little pretty stone, and there's a little pretty stone. And Andrea, I think one of the questions you asked me was what size of finger was her ring? And I like that ring. I, I, I don't know why. This first thing caught my eye that when is, I saw that. That is a solid five. That is in silver. And she has got, that's a little dove, little bird. That is a very, very tiny, tiny ring. That I'm going to give number two. That set, number two. Again, you can get it tonight or you can pre-order. Because I want you guys to have the first options to um, get the pieces as soon as we can. All right, let's see here. This is also a fashion fix, but I had uh, kind of hoarded her. So she's got this earring, this necklace. That's for hoarding her. One of my friends is calling because they're not at my live, which I don't understand, but so look at this bracelet. She has got the two caps here. She is stunning. She is dazzling. No, that, Andrea, that is a very good question. No, you do not pay in advance. What you do is you say that, hey, I really like that. And then I write it down. And on the fifth of the month or the fourth of the month, however, that flips out um, onto the weekday. Jeff writes it down. Um, <laughs> but then I go in and I try to compete with all the other um, business owners. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I hear you, Mary Margaret. I, I get you. These are some great pieces up here tonight. Um, but I go in and I compete with everybody else. And if I get your piece, then I charge you. But um, if I don't get your piece, then, you know, I'm kind of sorry that I bummed you out, but I'm doing my best. So that's why I offer people the opportunity. If you want the set now, that's great because I don't have any other guarantees to give you. But I hate to show you something that I'm not going to let you have. Makes me sad. Because shouldn't we all, like, sparkle and shine and feel like a million Oh, baby, I love that. I love that. Okay, so. Can't, can't we all just get our bling on? <laughs> can't we just sparkle and shine and get our bling on? Baby, baby, baby. What was the last set, number two? Uh, the last set, yes. Yes, you may. Yes, you may, Andrea. And that is, um, uh, I know what it is, but I just can't think of her name right this second. Miami. Jeff you go to work buddy oops sorry so what I wanted to show you is this this necklace has the big chunky that's not for everybody did you just tell me to go to work <laughs> It's not for everybody, but it is for someone like me who likes sparkle and shine. So I will say that. I, do, I just sit on my hands over here, you know. That's not true, Jeff, <laughs> and you know. I just want to make sure that we get the right names and the right pieces so that I can do that. All right, and then she has a very bold earring. Very bold. And then she has a very tiny baby baby ring. She has a very tiny baby baby ring, size five, six. Glimpses of Malibu. I think that's the one she wanted. She wants this one yeah, here. Yeah, Glimpses of Malibu. So this is a four piece set. This is no longer a pre-order. Uh, it is just simply a beautiful set that I, a vintage fashion fix I put together. I didn't put together. It's a vintage fashion fix that goes together. You can get it for $20 or you can pull it apart. Now, anybody who misses that bracelet is going to be sad. It's going to be sad for a long time. I'm actually sad to let it go, but I think uh, I wanted to give you an option for um, a whole fashion fix. Number 98. Number 98. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous 
um, bracelet. I'm in love with that bracelet. All right, this next fashion fix is very interesting. It's very interesting. It's got like flex. It's got little flex in there. So it looks like it looks like something like you would see maybe in a, uh, in an agate. It's got those little flex in there of all the different I was, colors. I was almost the granite. Yes, that's that's correct, Jeff. I think that's actually more ample um, description now, what, of it. What, what was I saying about me picking up your terms? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff is starting to feel like he's losing his man card. He's like, why am I talking like you? I don't know, Jeff. I don't know. Oh, let's do some more trivia. I love trivia. I don't even... Where did I get lost? Run in my mouth. Which cultures were the first to make wine? Iranian and Egyptian... B, English and Irish, C, Spanish and French, D, Chinese and Mongolian. I know, I know. You do not get to answer. You know, considering I don't know anything about wine, I got only one wrong on these questions. Yes, and I missed your humble, it. I missed your humble, shy, conservative... This is, Party my, time. this is my on-air personality. <laughs> He's called J.C. Michaels. Uh, all right, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's got that, that smooth. Yes, yes, it is. You guys are right. It is, but the first answer was, was Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. So she's got the silver backing. She has those little flecks of all these different colors. She has this beveled earring. You know, just showing it in front of the camera right now, it kind of looks like uh, looking up in the sky at stars, like a galaxy type, type yeah. of view. I but kinda, I think I kind of like that. I like uh, I like how you mentioned the granite though too, because it's got all these great colors in it. Just flex. Now she has a matching ring, as I mentioned, and she also has a matching cuff bracelet. So I want to show you that. Before I do, I want to show you. Now this is a smooth, smooth hoop. That is a smooth silver with just enough, just enough bends and weaves to catch the lighting. This is her cuff. Now notice. She has the two different styles. This can be bent to fit your wrist. Remember to keep the ease of wear and tear down for your wrist. You just answered a question I was having about those type of cuffs. And that, was, and that was if you could wear them, if you could wear them face up or face down, or, or number seventeen. I think face up makes more sense. Number seventeen. All right, so we got that answer. So I'm going to go to the songs of summer. This artist fits into our summer quiz because of her name. But with five Grammy Awards and six American Music Awards, as well as being the first artist to score three number one double albums along with other things, I'm sure we could use a song uh, among her 12 gold singles and 18 double platinum albums that relates to the quiz subject. What artist am I referring to that obviously works hard for her money? I'm just seeing if anybody's going to jump the bell. Summer Night, Donna Summer, Queen of the Summer Music Scene, Shadow Summers. This next set is just a set that I put together because I thought it was cute. You got it. Nice. 
I've got a couple different um, earrings here, but I do want to show you this. I've got, I've got four of these chains. This is a great fringe necklace. Yes, it is Donna Summer. Got a great fringe necklace with that beaded, that faceted beaded silver. It's going to sit right about here. This is fun, especially for some of our boho lovers. I gave her a couple options on an earring. One, I like this style. And the clear here is just fine. That little jelly, that little clear jelly is just fine. But I just thought that was fun. And then this is in that filigree silver. I did pair her with some bangles because I think bangles are fun. This is a pair of seven bangles. This, I had gotten as many bangles as I could when I saw them. So if you have gotten a set of seven bangles, this would just be a repeat. This would just be a repeat for you. And then I gave her this ring, which is in the silver. It's almost like spooned. This is in a seven, eight. See that dotted texturing and those those carvings into the ring. That set. Would be number 36. I've got the bangle. And the ring. Hello, Rhonda. Number 36. And if you'd like either one of those, and I just noticed this too, there is this little tiny daint, 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 dainty crystal. Let me just kind of show you. There's like a little dainty crystal in there. I have not noticed that. I love that. It's catching the light just so perfectly. All right. Number 36. Do I have any requests for colors or styles? For colors or styles, I have. I pulled up tonight, I brought up the ultimate, the ultimate gray with the French blue fringe. Now, you're gonna have to tell me yay or nay. This is a post earring. It is acrylic in the ultimate gray. Is it? It's got black uh, striations on one side. It's got the gray here. Andre is requesting sea beads when you get to it. Yes, certainly. And then... She's got a matching earring that is absolutely perfect for her. I do have... I have three of these sets. Three of these sets that are available. But for a little variation... I put the ultimate gray there. That is going to be number 19. Number 19. Let's ask another question. All right, yes. Uh, Jeff, would you? Um, next to the stop left yep right there bottom row so my next question I'm gonna write I'm gonna raise a fuss I'm gonna uh, raise a holler I'm about working all summer just trying to earn a dollar okay so my my southern accent <laughs> is not working uh, 78 let me get back uh, bye bye Thank you, Mary Margaret. So Mary Margaret has picked the turquoise set. She couldn't sit on her hands for it any longer, huh? 
Which is good. That's a, that's a good set for her. She that likes, is a great set. She likes turquoise, and I think that's an awesome set. And it's sassy. Well, actually, you can make it sassy, or you can make it boho. So I've got you for four pieces, Mary Margaret. 78. Okay. So... I'm going to try this again with my new southern accent. I'm going to raise a fuss. I'm going to raise a holler. I'm about uh, working all, all about. <laughs> okay, Jeff, you do it. It's your turn. You say it. I'm going to raise a fuss. I'm going to raise a holler about a working all summer just to try and to earn a dollar. <laughs> These lyrics are from a great hit from 1958 called Summertime Blues that was written by a young artist who died in a car accident on April 16th, 1960. And I got this one wrong. I, I, I totally got this one wrong. The, ans the answers are A, James Dean, B, Steve Curry, C, Mark Bolin, or D, Eddie Cochran. Eddie Money, no. <laughs> I think he was like, take me home tonight. Yeah, that was take me home tonight. And two tickets to paradise. Okay, my friend. Now, if any other uh, friends out there, yes, it is, it is Eddie Cochran. If there are any other friends out there that would like, let's see, we got, who got first? Cindy. 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 All right. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. I do have um, some variations here. I actually have a rust colored one. Give me one second uh, that I haven't put up. All of her friends. So let me get this out for you too. So in my studio, I have the jewelry hanging up so that when people come into my studio that they can um, look around and browse just as if you were at a, a, a brick and mortar. So I've got this one here too, Andrea. So let me, all right. But I do want to offer that if you guys have questions or if there's something you want to see or you want your show um, for me to include in the show, you must let me know because I am happy. Happy. And don't forget you can do pre-orders on the fashion fixes. Yes. So this is a request, so I haven't paired it with anything, but I do have some copper earrings that I think would be beautiful with this. She is, she is in the braid. Yes, Andrea, you should come visit. She has her matching earring. I have another one similar to this in the gold and silver. So this is the copper in the silver. And this is in that gold and silver. I don't think you can go wrong with either of them because they are great, great color um, enhancements to summertime outfits. So I'm going to go with color. I'm going to go by color because, oh, and this one is in that blue and silver. Now, I do have some black, but um, I'm thinking you're looking for some a little more fun. This is also in that braided that is in the midnight blue and silver. I love her. I love her with a t-shirt. I love her. Um, I got to tell you, though, I find myself wearing a lot of bling. I like, I do like pops of color and uh, bling. I'm really blingy. <laughs> I don't know if I'm scaring people, you know, or if I got my sunglasses on, so I don't know I'm hurting anybody else. <laughs> All right, now this. I don't know, it just scares me. I'm picking up your lingo. <laughs> <laughs> so now this is kind of a soft coral red. This is not a um, candy apple red. I do have two beige um, braided also, if you're interested. I think this is pretty. Uh, I, I think this color is really great. Now, all of these have chain extenders. I like the twist or the braids. I think I like the braids more. I know that I'm absolutely in love with her. I have a black one of this as well. Black. This is lacquered midnight blue. Lacquered midnight blue. She's got a little knot in there, and you could actually put another little knot in there or make her knot a little tighter so that she sits a little lower. 
Yes. She's got that silver cap. And I do, I do have another tan one I'll show you. This is in the ultimate gray. This is in that ultimate gray. And if you get ultimate gray, I found this bracelet I thought was absolutely perfect for her. Uh, I will throw in ultimate gray because I just think that is very, very pretty together. Cindy says she'd like the coral one. Nice choice, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't give it a number, but if there's any... And Andrea says, ultimate gray, please. You want the bracelet too, Andrea? It's free. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Cindy. All right. So I'm going to show this. I did show this last week, but um, I got to tell you, I, I just don't even know why she's not moving like, like a hot potato because this is great. Now, I don't know if anybody else goes out and has to mow their lawn or if everybody else is lucky enough to have um, a pool boy. Uh, but I have to go out and mow my lawn. So when I get done mowing my lawn and messing with my flowers and things like that, because uh, I don't have a pool boy, um, I have a little color on my skin. And I think this is a great compliment, a great compliment to that summer glow. I also love this as a compliment to rust, the marigolds, um, I also think the Desert Mist, oh my gosh, Desert Mist, uh, Willow. I mean, you could wear this with so many different colors, so many different colors. And all of our all of our summertime colors are up there. Mary Margaret doesn't have a pool boy either. We need to go start a GoFundMe page for you people. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Do I have another ultimate gray? I do not see one over there. That is not like me. Who am I and what have I done with myself? Right. I don't have another ultimate gray. I do have, I do have, um, I do have the gold and the silver. I have the midnight blue and silver. I have the um, copper and silver. And I do... I do have some, um, I have two other sea beads, I think. Is that sea bead there too? <gasps> Hang on a second. Valentina, give me a second. Okay. Let me show you these earrings real quick. By this the way, is... I like the acrylic one on that one, only because I chose it. So this is a post earring. This is the French um, hook. She's got that, that copper. And I paired her because I thought that would be a nice contrast. That's a nice contrast. It's kind of just relaxed. It's wooden. I also like the acrylic because it has the creamy and the browns in there that make a nice set. I'm going to give this one a number, though. Number 78. Valentina, give me a second. Give me, <laughs> give me a second. Let's see. Let's see if I can impress you. Let's see. What do you think of Catwalk? Now, I understand that Catwalk isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I like it because it seems like it's suspended. I'm trying to think of who I can... Which one of my mannequins can I upset? Okay. So I do love this. Oh, I can even do that too. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to take off her necklace here that I have prepared. And catwalk, I mean, you can, that can be dressed up. That can be dressed down. That is just cute. That is catwalk in the gold and the silver. I was trying to think what I did with that black one. I'm going to just show this black one because I think that one's like hot too. I think this is like truly hot. Her little earring popped off the end. Oh, there it goes. That's that gravity working again. Yeah. Valentina says she loves that one. I love that one too. I love that one too. But what about...
Now the seat beads are on those fiber optic lines. Now I wouldn't use that earring that I've got up there. No. But I, this is another example of catwalk in the black. This is a lacquered all black. But this gold, oh baby. I think either one of those are gorgeous. So I've got it in black. I've got it in um, the gold and silver. I'm gonna move you back over here, my friend. And that, I believe, let me see, I think, I think I sold that other one. It was like the midnight blue with the lacquered. I think that one sold. Uh, it was lacquered black like this. So if there's any of those that you would like, please let me know. I am happy to get those put into your box. There are lots of colors, lots of chooses, lots of styles. And if you want to see another one again, please let me know. I am happy. That's what we're doing is we're Valentina having a party. Yes. Thank you, Valentina. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is in the gold and the silver there. Thank you, Valentina. Your name is in the bucket. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's ask another question. Hopefully I don't have to try to sing or use a southern accent. All right. Kid Rock hit it big recently with All Summer Long. Uh, what I like most about this summer tune is that it combined two great hits from classic musical artists. The, song he combined, the songs he combined were Sweet Home Alabama and Werewolves of London. Two, which two artists originally recorded the two songs that Kid Rock combined to make his own smash summer hit? Hey, CJ. Uh, Leonard Skinner and Warren Zevron. ZZ Top and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Leonard Skinner and, Skinner and Frank Zappa. Warren Zevron and Molly Hatchett. Now, you didn't need a southern accent, but there was a lot of southern fried artists in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I love southern rock. I just uh, I don't think to use it. So let me correct myself on number 64. That is, that is Desert Mist. So I've been calling it Peachy Pearl-esque. It, it is not C. Thank you. Thank you, CJ. C. Just want to let you know, that is, that is Desert Mist. So, all right, now I've got this little fun set up here. This girl is in her little boho tie-dye. Mary Margaret. Getting Mary her Margaret game died. on. Congratulations, Mary Margaret. <laughs> Whoop. Yes, Cindy. All right. So I've got a couple of different things going on up here. I have a charm bracelet, which are adorable, which are adorable for our summer months. This is in that translucent pink and this beautiful raspberry sorbet hot pink combination. She has this earring that sits right about here. That is a pop, pop, pop of color. I found her ring to match. This is an eight. That can be stretched out to nine. And I love that color and I love that, that, um, that etching, that filigreed etching. That is definitely popping, isn't it? You can pop. You can see me coming in. See me coming in. All right, now I did. Nice catch. <laughs> How? I do not know. Um, also, there is this cute acrylic bracelet for a dainty wrist. <laughs> I'm not, like, not, not a cuff, it opens wide enough. Yeah, well, it is a cuff, but it's like, but that is like somebody else's wrist, not mine. That is not my wrist. And then she has the matching pretty pink um, colors in the heart. CJ was being a mama cat. And this earring. So you had two choices of earring. When you get this set, you can have like a bold, or you can have a dainty. And like, I just paired her with a t-shirt. I just put her with a t-shirt, 
playful, fun, colorful. Could you wrap and tuck that? I'm not sure it's long enough. Yeah, I think I think you could. Um, but I, I just think that this, because of the charms and stuff, I just think it was meant to hang, you know, just be out there. But I do think um, the chain, if you are petite, what I would offer, because I do like to have options. Uh, sometimes our chains can be too long for the, the daintier lady. Uh, you can take this chain and you can clasp the clasp a little further. And then she slides on her bail so it would easily center up. Or you could actually layer her. I think layering would be too much, but you could put her where she fits best for you. Fits best for you. And that's really the name of the game is like, what makes you happy? What makes you feel good? And then she's got these little sparkly crystals in there. That set is going to be number 96. Number 96. So let's see here, Jeff. Let's see. We got to do something here. We got to get back to the wine. We got people dancing. We need some more wine. Most popular type of wine in the United States. What is the most popular type of wine in the United States? And it actually... Yes, that's a... All right, so CJ said on, um, on number 98 that I just showed, 96 that I just showed, she said it's uh, because of the charms, it doesn't lay so flat. So what she does is that she just shortens it and then she puts the rest of the chain in the back of her, of her shirt. And that's great. That is great because I do that a lot too because I want it to be where I want it, but it's not... Um, I don't want to make it so short that I have to tuck it and I don't want it to be too long that it's making choices. So here are, are you ready? This one. All right, most popular type of wine in the United States, A, Merlot, B, Pinot Grigio, C, Chardonnay, D, Cabernet Sauvignon, or, nope, D, that's it. Where's Syrah? Where's Colorado wines? Where's, <laughs> what is your answer? And while we're doing that, I have some more jewelry up here. I got tons of it all it is, over. It is not a CJ. So I did not show this last time, but I did. I did want it. It and is Mary Margaret got it. She got C. Oh, congratulations, Mary Margaret. It, it is Chardonnay, and I got that one right too, even though I don't know anything about wine. So Valentina, um, hey, so one of um, when I had your necklace on display, one of the earrings I had paired with it as. Um, if you wanted a more stately piece, I just want to share this with you. Um, I do have others of those necklaces, uh, different types, but that was this is the piece I paired with it. Uh, she's got some striations. She's got a little bit of, um, of the shaping to her. She catches the light just in case you wanted something. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, number 73 if anyone else is interested in number 73. All right, what is showing? Oh, so, all right, this is in that antiqued copper with the topaz stone. What I love about this is it looks very exotic. Uh, she has the waterfall, she, she has the waterfall earring. She's got this very exotic goes into the decollete again. So I think I think we all need to go to TJ Maxx or over to Walmart and just get some plain colored t-shirts. We can get them out of the guys sections and then we just wear our, our jewelry. I think that's what we need to do. So we could just be cute as heck in just some t-shirts and some fabulous jewelry because I don't know how many times I've just taken this one white t-shirt and just loved all the different looks I can make with her. And then here in Colorado, as soon as the sun goes down in the desert, we think we're like, you know, frosted. So I always have a sweater or a sweatshirt. Now this earring I'm gonna show you that I put with her, I think 
is gorgeous because I love this exotic look. So exotic. I love, just makes me feel like I should be sitting around in a Turkish tent, eating fabulous food, listening to music from the Middle East, and just being cute, just being cute. Which, by the way, I do that um, at Japanese restaurants too. I can, <laughs> I can have fun. You tell me a restaurant and I can dress for it. I can dress for it. <laughs> I love sushi, let's go. Right? All right, I'm gonna show this bracelet again. It's one of my favorites. I got it in um, a polished uh, bright steel. Hang on a second. I have it in this antique brass with the shiny balls, and I have it in I have it in antique silver. I have it in bright shiny silver, and then I have it in copper uh, antique brass. I do not have this in copper, but I paired that together because I think. Um, she's so cute. When I say cute, I mean, I, I would wear all of this stuff. I will wear all of this stuff. And that is why I have to sell it is because that's how I get all my stuff. <laughs> number 24, number 24. Okay. I'm going to show you one last little girl over here. My last mannequin I dressed for success in a summer party. This is a beautiful pattern dress. This would probably be part of our, our dream escape, or not our dream escape, our dream vacation, or our garden escape. You could wear her for either one. Now, I used the primary uh, color spatters of black to match this. This is almost in a charcoal black. She has the beautiful striations in her beads, and she has three chains at the bottom. This is long and fun. I chose this because around her neckline, which we're going to be seeing so much of, and around her peekaboo peek shoulders, which we see so much of right now, that trend is continuing. I just thought that that would be fun to add a little, a little sparkle to what's already kind of complementing the whole sparkle. She's got some collar sparkle. She's just got it going down further to elongate her decollete. And then there is this earring. This is in that silver and black. And this is going to sit right about here. Now she does have her own ball black earring. And she'd even go well with what I'm wearing right now. If you would like either of those pieces, that's going to be number 79, number 79. Now, I did not uh, mean to go so long this week, not getting live, and I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But uh, in the interim, I did get um, some special pieces in that I did not expect. Now, this, this is an exclusive this is a Fashion Fix exclusive set of earrings I paired that goes very nicely with the colored beads here. This is almost a coral red. This is almost a coral red, but it's it's kind of got this hint of... Um, it's got actually that, two different uh, shades of red. On yeah, it. it's, it's kind of like a raspberry sorbet meat. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and then she has these detailed medallions on either side holding four chains now her earring has a translucent bead and an opaque bead to match how it goes in the but if you would like If you would like a bolder earring to go with the necklace, that would be fun. And 
right there, right there. So that is for those who love the long necklaces. I wanted to have some of those in there. And then I love red, but we've got so many fun colors. It's like, why would we stick with just one, one of my favorite colors when we could just play with all the colors? Now, uh, one, of the, one of the pieces I had wanted to show, and I can't recall if I did, is this. This is in the dimpled. This is gold. This is in the dimpled. And she's got, see the, the texturing, that, how the, that little gold disc has a little shape to it to bring out the lighting. She has a perfectly matched earring. Perfectly matched earring. She's going to sit right about here. Sometimes I have to undo the tape in order to get my earrings to sit correctly. But I also paired her with this earring that has the cutout. It has the cutout and it's still dimpled and it sits right about here. I am going to give that one, or either one of those sets, number 90, number 90. Let's see if we can ask a few more questions. Number 90. Which category are you going for? Let's see. Oh, I can't help it. So, all right, I am going for Songs of Summer. All right, a group called Katrina and the Waves closes out this summer song quiz. They had a hit in 1985 that reached number eight on the U.S. Billboard charts that really epitomizes the good feelings and great memories so many of us have about the past summers. What is the title of the feel-good song this group recorded? Are you here? Are you ready? Crying the sun away, burning at the beach, walking on sunshine, wishes sum, uh, wishing summer would end. So let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I got this oh, one in too. I was going to ask if you'd shown that yet because I wanted to see it. <laughs> I did not, but I got to show this to you. All right, so first off, this is an exclusive. This is an exclusive piece. It's one of one. Cindy, you got it. Yes, oh, 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 yep, Cindy got it twice. She said it twice. I just want to make sure nobody was ahead of her. So this is in that hematite. She has three strands and she's got that gunmetal black band to hold it together. Again, this is like, this is part of the uh, no apologies, no filter. I'm gonna do what I wanna do because I'm gonna be me. So she has got those fabulous smoky quartz rocks, that little um, smear of the silver, the silver beads. Oh, baby. There we go. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to go to TJ Maxx and get all my own uh, t-shirts so that I can like leave some room for you guys to see the jewelry. <laughs> She's got this got two chains on either side. She does have the chain extender and the clasp. And I dropped, I dropped her earrings that I had paired her with. Now I'm doubling down. You, you didn't drop them, gravity, gravity came up and pulled them down. Right. Congratulations. Okay, so I got, I got this, that silver set, but look, hematite, silver hematite. Sparkle, shine, live in the magic. Oh. I love those earrings. I know, I know. Oh, and I've only got two pair of them, but I love them as well. I love them. They're like, look. Can you imagine? Ooh. All right. Now I did, all right, so I had that, that. And then I had another, I had another earring that I had considered 
Oh, yes. So this has got that smoky quartz in there and the crystal. Actually, that would be great with what I'm wearing, too. This jewelry is for everybody. I, I just don't even, well, everybody but Jeff. Thank you. I was going to exclude myself, but you beat me to it. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to give that set number 21 if you want any of those pieces. Number 21. Okay. I'm trying to think. Do I have any purple lover? Purple lovers? Purple lovers. Um, pearl lovers. I, oh, hang on a second. I got this green ring in today to, to die for. To, to die for. It is in. It is in. Hang on a second. I don't even know if I could show her that well. When I first saw it, I thought, is that a little turtle? It's not. It looks like what Jeff said was a family crest. Coat of arms. Yeah, coat of arms. Family crest, coat of arms, something like that. Is what yes, it like. purples. This is purpley. So, so I've got, this is in that green. This is in, it's almost somewhere in between green ash and mint. It is a long, she has a tassel. She's got a little silver dowel on either side there. I put her with this green earring, which works nicely. But I, I just had to show her again because I was like, I think that green and that necklace are are the answer to the world's problems. Now, now what did you say to me when you said, Jeff, I'm going to show you this ring? What did you say to me? I think it's a turtle. No. You said I was going to do something. Oh, I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this is not... Make sure all his children are all out of the room. Uh, I told Jeff he might wet himself when he saw this because I was like, that is so gorgeous. I was like, but I didn't even think of saying something like that. Everybody else. It is a petite, but that is, oh, it's a dynamite. That, that is dynamite. All right, so it is a 5.6. Oh, actually, I think it might actually, I think it could be a 7. It's a 7. It can stretch to seven. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show a couple purple piece pieces, and then we are going to do a drawing. I have two purple pieces up here, two purples in the ready. So this first set. And actually, how funny am I? I I love the earring so much. I I'm not even I'm not even creative anymore. Ah, uh, so this is that translucent amethyst. She will go down into your décolleté. I don't know if you can wow. see. <laughs> we gotta love Jeff. So um, there is opaque beading, there is the pearlesque beading, and then there's some translucent beading. So she has an earring of her own. She has this beautiful jelly. Again, I love I love that shape. It's gonna sit right about here. But if you like the pearl, and I'm gonna show you the pearl with the other one too. But I do have more than one of these sets and this is a great set. I love the silver, the smooth silver, and then the floating beads. So if you like this, or either of those earrings, I'm going to give this number 54. Number 54. This next set has the pearlesque. She has a matching bracelet. Now, what I like about this set, and uh, I have a white one like this too, but I like that it looks like little sand dollars in here. Those dimpled discs with that pearlesque. She's got the pearlesque 
earring sits right about there. She has the chain extender, but this is probably, you know, pretty close to one of the dainties that's going to sit close to your close to your neckline. Her matching bracelet could be used as a wrist or ankle bracelet, depending on how you like to wear jewelry. It is absolutely identical. What you do to wear this as an ankle bracelet is you take this out onto its last length or where you need it um, because the clasp will go around. And as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, so in the next week, if I have any of my ladies with a class bracelet that shows me a picture, shows me a picture of them wearing their ankle bracelets, blah, 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 ankle bracelets, show me some pictures and I will put two free tickets in the bucket for your name. Jeff, could you write that down in case anybody follows? Would you mind saying that for me? I love that earring. I really do. I love that earring. I love the other one too. I'm like, I'm ready for the jelly. I'm ready for the jelly. Yes. Colors. Colors. All right. So I'm going to give that one number four. Now I do have some yellow up here. Number four. I have some tangerine. I have some brass. I have some pinks. I have some more amethyst. Amethyst. Purpley. This is in the amethyst with that textured framing. Looks like little swirls. Now, you know I do. You know I do. I have this ring. I have this ring and I wear this ring. I wear this ring with this. I wear this ring with that. I wear the rings. I wear the bling rings because I, I guess, you know, after a certain age, I just think it's okay to be big and bold and gaudy. I think it's okay because, you know, I love purple. I love sparkle. And if it makes me feel good, I'm going to do it. So what kind of things make you feel good? What kind of things make you feel good? Now for CJ, I know, I know, I can almost hear it now. Feeding kitties, getting your hands in the dirt. That's my farm girl. My, you know, my bling farm girl. All right, that amethyst is going to sit right about here. She has got a matching earring that does not have that amethyst in it. It's just that textured silver. Now, I do have another, if you wanted a bolder earring with the amethyst color in it, it is not the round shape, the oval shape, but it is definitely a pop of amethyst. This could be your grab-and-go earring. This could be part of your set. This is just pretty. I also have these in pink. Now, there is a bracelet. We love you, Mary. Thank you. That is, ex you know what? There's only one you. People should be following your trends, not you following theirs. Oh, I love your little space, by the way. CJ put up a, a new hammock in her special space. Not that she sits down that long. I'm going to let you know that for a fact. Well, what, what kind of jewelry do you wear feeding kittens and getting your hands dirty in the dirt and uh, laying in the hammock? What kind of jewelry do you wear? All right, I'm going to let CJ tell me about that. So this has that little rectangle inside of a filigree that 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 etched in antiqued silver. She has a stretchy band. She's got beads in between. She is pretty. All right, friends. That one is going to be number 70. Number 70. I have other pieces up here to show you, but if I have, if I have taken up too much time, I do not want to. 
Uh, I did. I did get a special piece in, though. He just says, all kinds of bling, just no long necklaces. Right. I can see the kitties wanting to play with the necklaces, though, if they were dangling. My grandchildren want to play with my necklaces and my earrings. This is a wrap bracelet. When I say a wrap, you don't even have to tie it. All you have to do is, like, twist and turn it on. It has got that white crackle stone, that silver. I paired her with, because I'm still in love with my earring, not going to lie. 70, no extra earring, Valentina. Oh, nice. Do you like the bracelet, too? I want to make sure how many pieces I, I add. So I did, I did have a ring. I do have a bracelet. And you don't need the extra. I just want to know if I, do, if I put the right pieces in there. So what I'm thinking is that this... I'm thinking it's this. Could you please confirm? And I'll set this down here for a second. And that's number 70, and that would be three pieces. No anklets, because chickens peck, according to CJ. <laughs> yes, well, they do. For real. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this has that white crackle stone, that beading, and then it looks like it has, like, that, that little wave of silver. I paired her with this because Valentina I... Valentina says yes to your question. Thank you very much, Valentina. Your name is in the bucket three times. And again, I want everybody while you're here, I want to apologize to you personally. Uh, I will put some scratch tickets in your boxes, but I just haven't got everything um, set up and packaged out yet. I just, I apologize. I apologize. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I know. I know. I can't really help myself. It just happens. I get, you know, I get bogged down sometimes. I get bogged down sometimes. I gotta get it. I gotta get it on. But you know, that's the other reason I joined the business. A little bit of flexibility. But when it comes to you, I do not want to take advantage of your good nature. So I apologize. Um, this is number eighty-one. Eighteen. This is eighteen. Okay. All right, so I think, um, do I just, how many, oh man, I'm going to show that next time. I, uh, I set up some stuff for Jeff. I set up some stuff for Jeff. Um, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary Margaret. That's so kind of you. Um, I set up some stuff for Jeff to show, but I know I'm going to be doing some more lives. Uh, I will try to put them up in advance. Uh, I, I know that I still got some uh, some yard work to do. That's like a, a weekly one of like, if my schedule wasn't already so busy. Uh, but right now, how about we do a drawing or let's see, do I have any more trivia questions? Do I, let's do, you got, you oh got, baby. You got plenty of wine questions. All right. So let's just run up on our trivia and get some more chances to win. All right. Wh and I didn't, yeah, see. All right. What type of price, what is the price of the most expensive bottle of red wine sold at an auction? I'm gonna let you know before I do this. I'll be getting a box. Specify red wine. Red wine. I'm telling you, if somebody wanted me to pay any of these prices, I'd be getting it in a box. Okay, a <laughs> me big, and my straw, my box. my little juice box. <laughs> All right, a, number A. A tanker. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty uh, twenty-five thousand four hundred and three dollars. B two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know, these prices are just so disparate. How about we just go with $25,000 and then whoever answers closest to, you know, without going over, um, I, I'll just tell them this the whole answer. The price is right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had too much fun. All right. $25,000, B, $250,000, C, $114,000, D, $17,000. What is the price of the most expensive bottle of wine? Red. Red bottle of wine. <laughs> red. What is the most expensive red bottle of wine sold at auction? A, 25000 B, 250000 C, 114000 D, 17000 It is not B. We have three answers in a row for B, and it is not B. And by the way, ladies, I'm with you, because that's what I thought, because I have heard... Or maybe I saw it on a movie. Maybe I was dreaming. I don't know. Uh, somebody saying, you know, like a, you know, such and such, you know, oh, what was it? It was a movie. It was one of your movies, Jeff. When they went to that island 
And they had three hundred thousand dollar bottle of wine or something. Well, movies that tend to be fictional. <laughs> well, I know, but I think maybe that's why I thought that. So I think oh, Cindy. CJ. CJ. Oh, is it is it CJ? I didn't see Cindy. I saw CJ first. Let me see. No, Cindy got it first. Yeah. No, no, no I'm sorry. All right. No, Cindy, Cindy, um, Valentina. It's C. Valentina. Yes, it is Valentina. Congratulations, Valentina. All right, I've got four more questions, four more opportunities to win. All right, what is the top wine-producing country? Is it Italy, France, China, United States? A, Italy, B, France, C, China, D, the United States. I think Cindy got it. No, wait. Who got B first? CJ. CJ. It yes, she did. Congratulations, is, CJ. It is France. All right, I got three more questions. What is the top wine producing state in the United States? I'm going to tell you, A, <laughs> okay, it's getting late in the day, and <laughs> she's dropping sink. It's not your fault. A, California, B, Oregon, C, New York, no, Mary D. Mary Margaret got it already. <laughs> you didn't even finish the answers, and she already had California on there. Well, list. I kind of I thought, you know, are well, there you, any you, wine connoisseurs in the house? You did what I did. I waited for your answer. <laughs> So this last weekend, um, this last weekend, I went out with my girlfriend. I haven't seen for, you know, I don't know, weeks and weeks right now. But anyway, we had lunch at the Japanese restaurant. Um, yeah, your Saturday was much better than mine. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff was, Jeff, while Jeff was in the hospital, I was gallivanting all over Colorado Springs and having the best time. Um, so there's this place called the Sweet Elephant that they make their own wine um, mixtures. And so there's like this amazing peppery Shiraz. There's like cabs, there's Chardonnays. They have everything. Um, and then, I don't know, we just spent girl time and we drank wine and we got our nails done and um, got our leg massaged and all that kind of stuff. And it was like the ultimate girl date. Ultimate girl date. And um, why isn't every day like that? <laughs> <laughs> it can be. It can be, kind of. All right. How long does it take grapes to ferment? A, one year. B, six months. C, one week. D, three weeks. Oh, and they also serve uh, charcuterie boards, which are my absolute favorite. So if you are ever ever thinking about stuff like maybe making yourself a little chard uh, charcuterie board and a little sip of wine and some apples and cheese to clear your palate give yourself a little girl date a one year b six months c one week d three weeks it is not a it is not c I'm getting behind. Please. <laughs> and it is not B, so that leaves what? <laughs> Whoever hits it first. Nope, it's not B. And to be honest with you, I was kind of like with you guys. I thought it was too. I didn't know. <laughs> Cindy, I think, got it first. Cindy! Woohoo! Yep, Cindy got it first. All right. A matter of deduction. Look at all these bright, beautiful women out here. All right. Which country drinks the most wine? Prepare to have your hair blown back. France, B, Spain, C, the United States, D, the Vatican City. I only knew this one because I saw it on the news before I did the trivia. We're my winner winners. Otherwise, the only one I really care about is the one in Palisade, Colorado at the Carlson Wineries. No relation, by the way. Yes. Mary yes, Margaret. Mary Margaret. Yes. 
And I did not know that. I did not. I, I would have, because, like. Well, they got all that communion thing going on. <laughs> yeah, but they have grape juice. Nobody gets to get drunk at church. <laughs> well, I guess the Pope can. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, well, you know, maybe because of the water situation, they do drink a lot of wine overseas in place of water. Or I drink tons of water in place of just about everything. Just water, water, water. All right, so we're going to... Yes, I'm seeing you, CJ. Did something happen? Mary Margaret got it first. Did you see you? Did you see you coming up first, CJ? CJ? Because I do see you, but it looked like Mary Margaret came in first and then you were right after. Jeff, what are you seeing? I saw Mary Margaret first. CJ came in after. I saw the same thing as you. I'm seeing you, hon. I'm seeing you. So she's seeing herself. Well, all right. So that may be, that may be, um, so I'm thinking that because it's your system and it's your response and it's going on, it's showing there first. Maybe that's, it happened to you too. Huh. I can't explain it. Um, we've got two systems here. And I'm not saying it's you or it's me or it's over there and yon. I don't know, but I, I want you to know, I want you to know that I would never, ever um, try to um, take anybody out of a winning opportunity. So please, um, we're just going to do the best we can, and I appreciate you. You're right, it probably is the lag, probably is the lag, but we certainly would not discount you. All right, so we're going to do a drawing. All right, and Jeff is going to try to calm down his enthusiasm because last time um, he bounced it and Valentina came jumping out at me and so she got a free piece of jewelry. Well, I think I think Valentina did some uh, psychic thing to make it jump out. Some magic mojo. Okay, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. I appreciate you. So, Mary Margaret, you have won a free... Here, Jeff. You have won a free piece of jewelry. You have won a free piece of jewelry. Want you to know. All right. Are there any last minute things? Um, so yes, congratulations, Mary Margaret. So what I want you to know, and yes, Mary Margaret, I do like it when you tell me because that's the only thing that um, throws me off is when I, I can't see the winner and then I'll pick another name. But because you were answering, I was thinking you were right with us. And you wouldn't leave before the drawing, or I wouldn't. Um, or were there any other things that you're thinking about? Any other um, things you'd like to see? If you do, if you do, please snap a picture. Tell me, send me some notes, whatever you want to do. Um, this is live. When that button is not there, you are in a replay. So if you're seeing something that you like to see um, in person or something you want to know if I still have some more of those available please just let me know thank you mr. Jeff Carlson again for your trivia in the fun and um, I, I really appreciate his humble uh, quiet conservative nature and then I want to thank you I want to thank you for your love and your time um, love of jewelry and time to come and spend time with us you guys have a great night I'm probably gonna Bye, Valentina. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you. You guys have a great night. I'm going to try to go live again a couple times this weekend to make up for all the time I um, kind of jacked this week trying to do chores and stuff. For now, good night.